Good morning. It's 4.12 and we're going back to Panama. If you guys watched last time, you know there was a lot of concern that we weren't gonna be able to bring Lola back to Panama with us and that we were gonna have to leave her here. And I'm so, so happy to tell you guys that we got the form. We got the stamp from New York City. We got everything we need to bring Lola back with us. Hola! Who's that? Are you ready to go on the plane? Mom would be able to take here. This is your fault. <laughs> what stupid dream is this? <laughs> I love you too, baby. Bye. Bye, my sweetie. You going in here? Yeah, we're good. You're going to have to move over a little and bit. And then if you move your seat up a little. Oh. Bye, bye Grammy and Papa. Bye, guys. Bye. Love you. Bye. <laughs> it looks like we're not going to be able to get on this plane. What's your reservation? Yeah, it's okay. They might be able to help us. Just try. Okay, it's um, B as in boy. How, what is this? Because you didn't. Because we didn't add. We didn't add saving to the booking. We need to do with. You need to do within four hours. It's and it doesn't say anything online. It just says like a fee needs to be paid. Sadie wasn't on the reservation. It's our freaking fault for assuming that we could add her here. I guess you need to add, make any changes on Copa, you need to make any changes at least four hours before your flight. So, we're not getting on this plane today. What happened? We decided we don't want to go. No, what happened? We decided we want to stay here with you. All right, let me just give you a little recap on what just happened. So I told you they didn't let us on the flight because Sadie wasn't in our reservation. So. We were, it, this, was all our, this was all our fault. Yeah. We, we made this reservation a year ago and we made it without an infant because we didn't have an infant. It was, it a, was, it was a round trip. trip. Yeah. You know, we flew there, we flew, to, we flew here to the United States and then we flew, we were planning on flying back. And it said, you don't need to book a seat for anyone under two years old. So we assumed, which you know what happens when you assume, that the fee that we would have to pay for her, we would just do when we got to the airport. Like when you have an extra bag or if you have an over, overweight bag, but maybe comparing my daughter to a piece <laughs> of luggage isn't the best thing. <laughs> so now the big problem is all of our paperwork expires on January 1st. Today is December 27th. So there's another flight tomorrow, December 28th. So we tried to change our reservation to that, but for some reason, COPA can't do it. COPA, Copa's crooks. Copa are, Copa's we have not had good experiences they've taken, with Copa Airlines. They've taken a lot of money from us, so Copa Airlines, if you're listening to this, not very happy. I don't like you. <laughs> so for some reason, they couldn't take our flight from today and schedule it for tomorrow. They would have to schedule it for the beginning of January, and by then, all of our paperwork for Lola would expire. So we had to book a flight for tomorrow, December 28th, one-way ticket for a grand total of... Fifteen hundred dollars. We just have to hope that they don't cancel this stupid flight. I'm gonna knock on wood right now. And we just checked the weather. It looks like there's some wintry mix going on tomorrow morning. So hopefully that's not too severe either. Lots of fun. <laughs> this is all great. We're gonna do a whole bunch of nothing. We're gonna say there's nothing we can do, but just wait till tomorrow. See what happens. That's right. Hopefully. We just gotta keep bringing keep bringing our A game, honey. Bring the A game and see what happens. <laughs> It's 4.33. Let's try this all over again. You got a quarter? <laughs> we made it. I just like feel like all the anxiety is just like, whew. Most important thing, we got the mama and dad at both the <laughs> Oh, 
Sadie loves the airport. <laughs> but my hands are so full carrying this camera and carrying her. I have to have my jacket on and I'm sweating, freaking sweating balls over here, it's so hot. All right, the moment has come. This is the final step. We just need to get Lola into Panama now, give them all their house certificates, pay a couple hundred bucks, and we're done. We did it. Oh my god, it's just like so much pressure just. You just don't know if they're gonna do quarantine stuff, if they're gonna take her for a few days or what, so. We are done. Welcome to Panama. And you guys will never guess who's right here waiting for us. There he is! Testing, I mean you. <laughs> I'm sorry, Kake. I smell like I've been on a plane for the last six hours. Ah. You know? <sighs> it's not bad. Really? So usually what we do is we hop on a, another plane now to David, which is right next to Lolo's farm. But we had Kake come and pick us up from Panama City. Kake is the real MVP. Woo! But that means that we have a six hour drive all the way back to Lolo's farm. <laughs> so. We're gonna chill and take this ride, e easy ride this all the way back there. Christmas Honey, it's it's after I Christmas. <laughs> it's December 28th. Christmas ended three days ago. Sweet. Stop talking. <laughs> Make Stop my talking. wish come true. <laughs> you guys, Lola just figured out where we are. <laughs> and I'll show you how we know that she just found out. <laughs> She's very excited. <laughs> she's just standing she, on you. She, Open the freaking door! <laughs> We've been driving for a while. We made a bunch of pit stops. It's late. It's 1.08 in the morning. We left for the airport at 5 a.m. So it's been a long travel day. We're closing in on 24 hours here. <laughs> a little bit saying that this is what we call off-roading. And we're gonna do this every single day of our lives. <laughs> I don't think she minds that much, honey. <laughs> we're <made> was, uh... <laughs> Welcome home, Jordan, Katie, Lois, Sadie, and Rodrigo. <laughs> oh my God, I don't, I don't live here. Right. <laughs> what are you doing in my house? I'm just a driver. I know we still need to work on the whole jumping up thing, but that's on our long list of things to do. Oh, chill. Just a dick. Look at you, bro. <laughs> She's so happy. Oh. <laughs> Look, it's Raj. <laughs> it's your best friend. <laughs> I know, he's not really excited about it. He's not as excited as you. What are we doing? 
We're back in the workshop again. <laughs> That's about the look on all of our faces right now. We're all like, maybe it's like shocked and confused, just all being back together again, but in the best way possible. It feels so freaking good to be back here. But it feels like, um, it feels like culture shock if you guys have ever experienced that. But we're all exhausted. Lola, Sadie, Kaylee, me. It's freaking 2 a.m. Wiped. So we're gonna go to bed, but I'll pick this up in the morning. Kaylee is catching up on some much needed sleep. She also had to feed Sadie all night. So now it's gonna be her nice long stretch to catch up. So I'm gonna go ahead and start doing some farm chores, which I'm actually super excited to do because I haven't done this in five months. And while I do that, I'm gonna tell you guys about the sponsor of today's video, which is Surfshark. Hi, chickies. Surfshark is a VPN company that Kaylee and I use every single day. We just let it run on the background of our phones, on our tablets, on our computers. And what Surfshark does is it helps keep all your important private information safe. Stuff like passwords, banking information, basically just all the stuff that if someone got their hands on that wanted to do some damage would really make your life a lot more difficult. That's the type of stuff that Surfshark helps protect. And with it becoming easier and easier today for people to get that information, like all you need to do is connect to a public Wi-Fi network like at a Starbucks or a Dunkin' Donuts or something like that. And if someone else on that public Wi-Fi network wants to get your information, they can do it really, really easily. You're basically broadcasting all your information to everyone else on that public Wi-Fi network. But when you use Surfshark, it puts a middleman in between you and anyone that's trying to get that information. So it helps keep everything really safe and just give you that peace of mind. So if you guys aren't currently using a VPN, we highly, highly recommend it. And the good thing is Surfshark has a really good deal going on right now for 83% off and four extra months for free. You can get all that information down in the description below. But I think I hear Kaylee waking up now. This is such a beautiful day. And I just can't wait to have her come out here and see all this. We got wildflowers, look at this. We got wildflowers, we got corn growing. It is just so freaking beautiful here. And these last, this last month has honestly been one of the most difficult months of our lives with a new baby trying to get back to Panama. So we're gonna soak this thing in. Oh. These are the days. We don't get many of these, but I... our first day back here. This is amazing. <laughs> Let's go see the puppies. So I just woke up. Jordan let me get a couple more extra hours of sleep this morning. And man, what a couple hours can do. Well, let me tell you, I'm feeling nice and fresh now. I got a little Miss Sade with me. It's like unreal how good it feels to be back. But today is a big day because we're actually setting up the entire farm for our first ever official farm fest. So we got a very special delivery. Very special delivery. This is probably the most important part of the entire farm fest. Maybe not the most important. One of the most important. I mean, these things are huge. I knew they were bringing a sound system, but there's like eight of these. So we got sound system. Oh, are these the tables? Yeah. Oh my God. So we got these awesome little like bar tables that actually light up. So um, these guys are actually here. We got an outdoor event tent. I'm a hard ass worker. <laughs> what are you hooligans up to? <laughs> we need to go get a bunch of hay. We're just gonna build everything out of hay. This is farm fest. <laughs> and it's not a farm without a shitload of hay. So I'll tell you where we, actually Jordan had the idea, but then I went on Pinterest and I found this is a thing. People building stuff out of hay bales. We got couches, we got bars, we got toilets. Everything is going to be made out of hay barrels. <laughs> This is not what I envisioned when they said they were bringing an oven. It's like a legitimate wood-fired oven. It's gorgeous. Damn, look at that. Looks so good. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Well, this is the first time that we sit down all day. I feel like I've been just in this crazy time warp. 
like in a way I feel like the last five months have just absolutely flown by but at the same time it's like it feels like just yesterday that we just left here and I was pregnant still <laughs> and now we're sitting here in our workshop with little Miss Sadie here with us it's the most surreal feeling in the entire world our lives are an absolute mess an absolute disaster right now you can see this workshop is just I feel like I can't even look that way right now. It's just Come on, honey, we're going to bring it back. Too much one going on. One step at a time, one bean at a time, one piece of clothes at a time, one surface covered in mold at a time. You know you become a mom and dad not just for a dog, but also for a baby when you have literally the only thing you've eaten all day today was crackers and hummus. And before we have dinner, we got to make sure the babe is fed and Lola's fed. <laughs> so George's making Lola's food now. I just fed Sadie. Down. We've been setting up all day long, all night long. And I think we're gonna keep it all a secret from you guys. I don't want to share anything until it's party time because we've been talking about farm fest this has been like this is this has been like one of those things that you talk about but you like feel like probably not gonna happen honey i always knew this was gonna happen i i had some doubts do i have toothpaste all over my face no you're good you're good all right, you looked at my face like i no 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 do i no all right. since i saw the land i was like we're gonna have a festival up here Tomorrow, we have three bands coming. We have a whole tent with a light show, a pizza oven with a cook that's gonna be making pizzas, and all of our friends all coming here to celebrate the new year, watch the fireworks go off in the, in the town, and meet Sadie. So that's gonna be in the next video. Uh, just part of the next video. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then yeah, we're getting yeah. back to work on building some stuff. But we just wanna thank you guys so much for following along as always. We love you guys so much, and we'll see you guys the next one. See you next time.